is uh Exactly, and that's going to be a bit of the mystery too, with that being mentioned. Just the whole fact that there has been less games played, so a lot less of a sample size tricked with this more experience might also make them more vulnerable because they're likely to be a lot more intensely practiced, experienced, a lot more things to possibly be able to pinpoint and exploit and be able to find opportunities off of. Meanwhile, Gen 1, a little bit more of a mystery. Not really going to be much for Trick to be able to play off of. Probably just have to try to play their own game and just think about what to be able to adjust on the fly to be able to perform appropriately. Yeah, like everyone's going to be playing their own game, right? It's uh, it's the Sway system. It's best of ones. You're playing uh, at ungodly hours. This one, this one started, uh, you know, at 3, but you know, it's local time, obviously. Uh, but Future ones might start at 10 a.m., and we know those ones are going to be complete random fests. Uh, obviously, you should be expecting upsets uh, more often than not in those scenarios. But uh, hey, they're going to be playing their own game. Let's see whose game is better, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, Ancient is now live in Gen 1. The Frenchies against Tricked the Danes. Going toward the B side, it seems a relatively fast execute. Where's B? Do not stop. Yeah, immediately going in, able to just get that shite sight to go despite only a single smoke used. But Noidus is, is actually able to find that first pick. Six are able to find response, but that's when the Duelies are able to kick in. But it's able to find one and a double, locking down that bomb and just making it a triple to fully seal the round for Trick. Just denying that bomb plant and making sure that they can't get that space to properly get that bonus cash. Yeah, that's going to be a nice start for Tricked, right? You, you, you don't want to give them the bonus cash from the bomb plant. You want to kick your opponents while they're down. And uh, what will they use to kick them down with? Well, obviously MP9s, Prime Iceberg, and Nodios. They've got those equipped. Wanting to grind some cash, wanting to farm it up. Usually, you go aggressive here behind the... The alleyway, don't see anyone, no problem. They're rushing at the smoke right toward you, and they uh, literally just all died. Tricked uh, surviving with all five players in this one and farming up some money, as previously mentioned. Yeah, usually, especially when you're in these very weak situations where you have almost no investment or none at all, including the fourth fights as well, it's going to be very important to see in the replay just that beautiful stack up quick rotation from some of the B players going aggressive for that map control, knowing that they can contest in the situation, and just able to farm them down. It's going to be very important that you try to find ways to get opportunities to grind down the CT economy, find openings to be able to get into it, maybe get rounds, but that's not going to be out the start. The Iceberg able to find a double with that MP9. No, no, able to find a little bit of response before Iceberg takes his third in the round. Full B control obtained. They do still have the bomb on six and able to rotate, but it's going to be a two on four. It's going to be very important for them to win these picks as they try to reset and go for some mid control. Man, but that is not the start to the round you want, right? Just going onto that B lane area and losing the vast majority of your squad. Oh, and not even managing to get lucky as he goes for the ballsy wide swing right into the Molotov as well. Jane with a lot to do here. Jane Tyne, perhaps? Yes, it is. That's a double. It's a, just one double remaining, and he wins this round. He, he has the bomb. He could just run toward B, but he doesn't know that. He expects someone to be sneaking out from A tons, and that does happen. Doesn't expect nobody else, though. And that's going to be the 3-0 star. Tricked, almost letting that one slip. A bit unfortunate for to not try... Jane able to just get that recovery and at least do a significant amount of recovery damage by taking down three players from Trick, breaking down that economy, but still the situation that is put into the game, Trick just absolutely destroying Gen 1, just a fantastic week from Iceberg. And it just means it's going to be a little bit problematic here as they're left with just the Deagles. How do they plan to find their way into this? Iceberg once again going aggressive, 
they're just able to get very aggressive control around this B lane, and Gen 1 not able to find any way to respond at the moment. Does mean yeah. that, that tricked are burning through this utility quick, though. They are, but once the utility goes away, they can still kind of hold those angles for a long while, though. So I think this uh, map control remains theirs for the time being. The only counter you can do to this kind of a setup, I guess, is to just go A with all five players. I mean, it is uh, the weakest part of the defense currently, just Quez present in the temple. So they could really just uh, run on in there and get the bomb down for that tasty, tasty plant money. However... They're trying to actually contest B lane and uh, middle with uh, minimal utility and obviously even more uh, minimal armor and weaponry. Yeah. Lots of things lacking here. Lucky? Hopefully it won't be caught lacking on that corner. He's going to get some action soon. Yeah, this is a very interesting play to go for with 30 seconds left. Not much time to work with. They're willing to just try to run the bomb through mid. No, no, Ooh, able yeah. to do a little bit of distraction before he's taken down. They're able to split it onto a three on four and a fantastic D. Jane once again able to tune on in. And that means they're able to space to get this bomb plant down on A. It's concerned that going for the spin so late, they wouldn't have any time to get the bomb down. It'll be up to Prime to get the double in response. And, and just now just able a question, to enable right. this retake. Yeah, like, they're taking so long with this retake, and then it's just Jane coming into the back. They're not going to be checking this tunnel again. They don't have utility to kind of block this corner off, and they even went for the fake to start things out with Jane. He saw the shadow. Nodios, I don't think you can do this one, bud. Yeah, Jane says adios to Nodios, and uh, takes the first round for Gen 1. What a back and forth round this one was just running the gauntlet through middle into the connector like a couple of speed demons onto that a site and uh even winning at the end that that was unexpected from gen one nicely played yep i would say strategically the positioning just going for this very late mid take is just so risky and just leaves so many opportunities to just be denied the map control i was expecting with a little bit of utility for them to use it to just elate, just A, execute with just the little bit of utility that they have. But they decide to just fully lean towards mid and they just hit some nice shots to be able to make it work. Iceberg willing to take the risk here with the Nova. It's going to be very difficult considering all these players are going to have head armor now on Gen 1. Yeah, you can still kill Not someone sure into the be... head with a helmet on though. Uh, you just have to aim slightly to the right ever since they gave uh, shotguns fixed kind of spray patterns or whatever you would call them spread patterns maybe it is a skill-based weapon it's just that not enough pros are experimenting with it so i'm very happy for uh, iceberg to have taken this uh this little gamble here I am no no is a fan of do dodging flashes apparently still managing to uh down one player are tricked and that's mission accomplished for them as far as they're concerned even prime getting the ak all right now they're cooking just able to get that pick, turn it to a 4v4. Maybe not best traditionally for the CT side, but to have that room is fantastic until Wasink with Sixer are able to get those two picks, crack open this A site, and leave it a two on four unresponded. Just some beautiful picks, and it just leaves them in the situation now that they're going to have to save. Just try to hold on to Prime with this AK, but they're already planning to retake mid. Having Jane nearby towards mid and Sixer holding for the retake from this angle. Giving it up, but again, Iceberg with that Nova, it's going to be difficult for him to do much in this situation. As Gen 1 are able doesn't. to find these string of two rounds together, and that's going to break this trick. That's exactly what they were hoping for. Get that third one on the board, get that nice start as the tease, you know, you lost your pistol, don't worry. At this point, you may as well have won it. The uh, early sort of half bonus is there, and middle might be theirs as well. Look at those USPs just running on town, Jane. Can't believe the amount of targets he has to spray down, but he does do it with the help of uh, Neo and Wozniak and, uh, you know, the rest of the gang. That was just uh, a massacre on middle with uh, Gen 1 not really feeling the 
just beautiful spray control, able to transfer and get that damage, getting three out of the four, and just being able to enjoy equaling up that score, see a bit more comfort. Feels like maybe a little bit of luck has gone their way to be able to get those entries, but overall for these one rounds, but they're certainly playing off of it and they're keeping up with the pace, just completely changing it up with this aggression. And this is gonna be the key oh. that's needed, some strategy, Jane just going for so much space. Leaner of the smoke, not take the risk. Wise decision as they start setting up, already executing utility into this A play. Likely going to be too fast for anyone from Trick to respond with this fast pace. You might have missed the shoulder. One Quez peeking on through, but Iceberg's able to find that first pick on the side and enable this retake to come on in. But now they can just go for after plant positions. The smoke does get re smoked. It's just the presence in the back that's worrying right now. And tricked, I think that's where they find the crucial advantage going into this round. Of course, they do. Iceberg from the back melts Neo. And now it's going to be a massacre unless Sixer has anything to say about it. He does not. Gets taken down. No, no. As his namesake would have you uh, believe has no chance in this round. And the, the bomb will get defused. Nice retake from Tricked. Nice side take from Gen 1. It's just that uh, the flank did come on in and kind of ruined all of their ambitions there, didn't it? Absolutely beautiful from Tricked. Being able to trade each other, plan out the HP, and not have anyone go down. Meaning this perfectly clean retake. Still plenty of burn through on Gen 1. Plenty more AKs to try to take advantage. But it means that they do have Lucky given over this AWP. And able to plan out on how to adjust. Gen 1 able to find everything they were looking for and get that early A site control. But Iceberg able to find that one Yo. pick. He's able to find the response. And once again, it's that first pick being given over. Quez able to find that opening. And now they can just be played back. Be a little bit more patient. Perfect nade. Just chipping down all these players. Going to let this M4 be able to pop off if the damage is found. For Wasnick and Jane, able to find one each, giving that man advantage. However, after the last round, they know these after players have been a bit of a struggle. I'm immediately responding. Just Whoa. getting the two headshots in. The shots from Neo giving away his position. Even though the smoke wasn't as clear, it's up to Sixer from this lurk position. To try to catch them off guard. We have two 1v1, but he, the shoulder's shown early, and he's unable to win the second duel against Iceberg. And Prime's just able to get on Bomb. They're able to figure out how to pick up one of these AWPs, able to conserve that into the next round. Ideally, you want these three rifles saved to be able to start building an economy. But just two with the AWP is certainly going to be enough for them to work with as we go into a short pause. It's going to be a tactical one, presumably, for Gen 1. Throwing away, well, letting two rounds slip uh, out of their control, we could call it. With that retake on A being deadly as ever. Man, Prime just <laughs> out of temple, like, opening that round back up. It looked kind of lost, to be honest, but uh, the Gen 1 players just weren't kind of uh, hidden. They didn't play passively from their after-plant positions. Uh, Nodios, like... He tried to actually hold on to the A site. He was playing that standard headshot angle on box, but literally didn't even get a chance to see his enemies before they uh, shot him, you know, through the very tip of that corner of the box. It's uh, If the enemy's further away from the angle than you are, right, they, they see you before you see them. It was that kind of careful play that got Gen 1 two clean entries, which did win the round in the end. That was good to see. Let's see if they can what it takes to take, well, mid control and B lane. That's the two ingredients the Gen 1 are looking for, right? But Nodios takes two of them down. This B lane, it's his, dude. Yeah, just an absolute beautiful setup. Ending up having a molly on the drop ramp. Jumps up on the boxes. He can have a clear angle onto these players, effectively creating a one-way. Very creative play to get in mind. To be able to get that first pick off and follow up onto a second. They do give away the space that they could get this bomb down on this B site. And able to, to do so, willing to plant it on that right side. 
denying the spam from coming in, but still, it's five on three. It's going to be difficult here. Neo able to find the first, but Plastic's back, just completely exposed to Prime here any second. Will be able to just take these players down one at a time unless Neo hits a quick headshot just in the Prime position. But Plastic's able to turn around, but the smoke fade still gives him the favor needed because he's able to land that one shot. And they're able to bait the op shot out of Sixer, having to carefully respect it and just jump out of the situation, preserve that AWP, as there's no way for him to hold them off the bomb with the aggression being put in. Just has to conserve that weapon next. At least being able to save it and get the bonus reserve due to that bomb plant in the first place. Yeah, that bomb plant's going to be the silver lining for the moment. Uh, it's uh, kind of required you know you always want uh, the extra money and if you at home want some extra money when you uh, i don't know top up your balance on the uh, on thunder pick for example well you can do just that you use code tbs3 that's thunder pick bitcoin series 3 right that's the acronym you got it 100 percent uh, deposit bonus up to 550 usd so do go ahead and uh, check that one out on Thunder Pick. Best place to bet, if you ask me, but I'm biased, obviously. Let's jump into this 10th round, shall we? It's a uh, Gen 1 with, obviously, a buy. Not that much reserve money left. Tricked aren't exactly rolling in dough either, but at least they got something going on. And uh, a lot more of a passive round in this one. Straight Yep. Willing Until to go that. for that pick, a beautiful flashbang, able to pick off Lucky early, and that's going to force some rotations out, and it's a perfect bait and switch. Last time they went for this simple A execute, just throwing a smoke and a couple of flashbangs to execute their way in. It ended up being an A execute this time, the resetting, changing up their strategy, playing a lot more passive and able to crack their way into the bomb site. However, no bomb nearby, so Iceberg with that pick's able to start working on retaking and Quest finding another. This comes a bit of an issue. Dodo no, no, has to worry about two different angles. Able to find the first, but the immediate trade there from Iceberg is able to take him down. A bit of a missed smoke, but he's still able to find the space to rotate as it's left to a 2v2, reliant on Sixer and a rotation towards this A site <laughs> until Quest takes him down, and that bomb's left in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, Sixer really exposed his position, right, with those loud footsteps, with that loud molly, the top mid presence just takes care of him easy peasy, and Quez, an even easier kill for him! Jane cannot get that bomb down, and Tricked continue their lead with, uh, I guess Gen 1 having picked up enough of a loss bonus to consider going for a buy here, I mean, you got Sixer and Wozniak on low buys, but... At this point, you can just kind of go with the Kevlar helmet, get some Mac 10s right, run toward that A site, get that bomb down. You know the defense there isn't exactly the strongest in the world. They do like to go for that B lane in middle early on. Do tricked. It's lucky. This might... Yeah. Yep, and this might be one of those ongoing effects of how their utility has been whittled down. The fact that they've lost these rounds due to defuse a couple of... The fact they weren't able to use that utility to secure the B site, even though they had multiple players on it, just allowing Trick to freely come in and retake it, just fully obtaining that control and just denying Gen 1 from getting around, even though they were able to successfully play that early to mid game correctly, just falling apart due to losing out the duels and the map control and being left once again in this 3v5 situation. But B site definitely takeable. That smoke pretty much covers off most of the defense. It's just Prime in his little corner there. Has had success. Traditionally hasn't really pushed utility. Doesn't need to. Because Quez just kills them on the cross. And Sixer as he tries to cross. Well, didn't look both ways. Got hit. Not by a car, but a couple of bullets. Iceberg taking care of him at the end. And Trick just survive with all five players. Easy peasy. Uh... Money, obviously, still a problem for Gen 1. Probably time for a bit of a half-buy and uh, to try and pick up the pace with some of these, uh, I don't know, early round attacks. Or yeah. go for a slower, like, kind of a deagle round, go for picks. That's possible, too. Yeah, it might be a good idea to just start potentially bringing out a timeout soon. Try to think about what's been going wrong. What's these small little details that's making you slip these rounds? 
and stopping this from being a more competitive half than it is at the moment. And it isn't competitive, but CT side's normally very dominant, and there could be a way for Gen 1 to be able to find those rounds to be able to upset it. But instead, they're just left with these deagles, just constantly able to get these bomb plants multiple times in a row, but just unable to find any way to close it. And just slipping up at the last moment. So they set up just trying to poke and prod, just get some utility burnt around the map, try to find some information. But once again, Tricked are just super aggressive, have full control. And Gen 1 just struggling to contest this B lane in any way means that Trick can just play far more aggressively on A and just have all the information in the world they need to just be in favor for these rounds. Yeah, it's really just... Trick don't need to show Gen 1 any respect if uh, they haven't earned it, right? And they're going to continue pushing lane until, well, Gen 1 force them on back. It's not an unsolvable puzzle. This one, I'm afraid... Ah, yeah, didn't have an easy solution, but I suppose... Six are killing two and getting on B is, uh, well, I suppose it wouldn't be easy. It would be simple. Either way, the bomb plant does go down. And Six are looking for a third, doesn't find it. But Gen 1, mission accomplished as far as they're concerned. Let's see if Wozniak can make this extra credit with the, uh, win on top of it as well. Probably not. Jane's left in an 18 HP clutch versus three, I think. This one's done and dusted. Trick to pick up the ninth, but not as uh, clean as the previous ones have been. Yep, able to start whittling down the economy a little bit more, but still with that one round and about the 2k in reserve, it's going to build up to plenty of cash for Trick. As once again, another one of these defuse rounds. Gen 1 just able to keep cracking their way into it, and they are able to find that opportunity, break it down into a 3v3, but just not able to play off of it just taking these aggressive risks and end up losing players a bit early in these after plants, leaving them to falter a little bit and just unable to find more, leaving tricked on this beautiful 9-3 score line, looking for double digits before the end of the half. We'll see if they can get him. Looking at so, Sixer to open some like open something up with that AWP. On middle, not really going to be getting those uh, duels, though, is he? Man, just a straight-up A attack at some point. Like, at this point in the round. Would probably hit the spot. I don't see how Quez could really call for backup in any meaningful sense, but I suppose they did just uh, announce themselves on middle. Let's see how this one goes. Iceberg behind the Molotov doesn't want to get melted. Let's them pass, and, well... He lets them on to mid, where they take that part of the map. Let's see how they can continue their reign toward the A site. Not past Quest, tell you that for free. Oh, oh, oh. So they're able to find that response. Even then, still, they still have one more annoyance on the site. The fact of that lack of B presence. He has to switch to the USP, but that doesn't matter. That's enough to be it, leaving six or... It's 1v3. They do a beautiful job adjusting for the mid control, able to get that B lane early on in the round to be able to contest. But once again, they just are unable to find anything fit to tuck through. And just these beautiful off angles being played for the trick. Quez able to find that double, just leaves everything in control. So just having to switch for that USP A1. Still, the damage being done to slow down the player and allow that USP to be able to finish off the job. And those double digits in Gen 1, once again, forced to scratch their head, think about what they're missing, what they can do differently. They've tried all these different paces of fast, slow with the aggression. They're able to crack onto these sites so many times, but once again, just unable to land that round win once they obtain the control of that site. It can be so difficult just to get these bombs down to begin with, but they seem to be faltering and giving away these openings once they get that bomb down, allowing Trick to get these retakes. Yeah, seven in a row, man. It's uh, It's been brutal for Gen 1. Uh, I mean, they haven't tried actually getting kills on Neo and Nono, though. That's that's a novel strategy, I would suggest, at this point in the game. They, they have only five kills uh, combined, not having the best series so far. 
and I'm afraid time's running out. Uh, you kind of need the four rounds at least uh, on T side, right? Otherwise, you lose the pistol in the next half, and uh, well, it's all over. I'm afraid from there and then on. I don't know. Sixer's been having a good game. Like he hasn't. He's faltered when you expected him to, but you he got the kills you expected him to, right? He's not like underperforming or anything. But on the other side, it's just. I guess Quez and Iceberg with the most kills, but in general, just anyone who plays toward that B site that's had really uh, enough impact in this game. Uh, we'll yeah. see if they can continue having it, though. Yep, absolutely showing that knowledge and experience and able to apply it to be able to perform beautifully with that AWP on this T side. It's going to be difficult to see how they respond to this. It's going to be very important once we end up switching halves for Gen 1 to reset their mind, pull things back a little, and just try to think about just setting up easier kills, just knowing they're on that defensive side, that they can relax a little bit. There's still that chance into it. Beautiful flashbang set up, but Nono's unable to peek. But Neo will be able to take down Iceberg. Prime able to find that trade in response and get away with it though, keeping that man advantage. Able to split up with that mid control. That beautiful oh. spam almost connecting onto target. Just up to Jane, reliant on him to be able to find some pick from this lurk, or at least to regroup with his team to take this B site. Like, no, no, in that position, man. He he had to chase the refrag. He just hid in the corner instead. Gets him this three versus four that does become a three versus three thanks to Jane, but lucky. Ooh, he still thinks he's got him trapped in that corner. That's not going to be the case, I'm afraid. Jane has already made his way down to bottom mid. And, uh, well, I don't know where he intends to continue. I suppose they'll meet up on middle. Lucky was way too aggressive on that angle. Just never really considered that people might be coming from other places. Uh, risk doesn't pay off, I'm afraid. So the A site does fall, and the retake not looking terribly likely. Gen 1 gonna be thanking their lucky stars if they manage to get at least this fourth round, because with only three in the next half, they basically had no chance. Once again, it's a hero play from Jane to be able to break their way into this, able to find that lurk kill towards mid, and able to quickly rotate out before his position can be locked down. You saw that reluctance for a second, and that yep. was almost his downfall, but he's able to get away with it. It means Quez just has to save this M4 for the last round. No reason to try to go for this retake. Needs to be able to toss a weapon and utility towards his teammates. Gen 1, fortunately for them, will respect it. With that, just Jane, once again, just able to do that. Quickly pick up the op from Sixer and able to find that response to just deny the retake. If he goes down there, that falters that donut, and we go back into a 2v2 situation, and possibly another bomb plant and a retake succeeded for Tricked to be able to take them down. But instead, it's Jin One able to get that fourth you mentioned and possibly set up to get a fifth if they can break their way through. Possibly. That's what they're going to be hoping for. Tricked, at least uh, with enough money to invest into this one, they're going to be happy about that. Let's see if they can succeed here on B lane yet again. Well, Prime certainly does. <laughs> Running down ramp, getting two kills, pulling on. And, uh, of course, his teammates get two as well, meaning that this round is well and truly over. Ladies and gentlemen, this first half comes to a screeching halt for Gen 1 as three points is everything they were able to get. Three consecutives in the beginning, basically, and then, well, just one uh, at the end there, uh, just in the nick of time. Uh, I don't think it's enough to really get it over the line in the next one, but, uh, hey, we'll, we'll see how the pistol goes and what kind of form tricks uh, shows as uh, the T side. Also, shout out to Prime for being a, for being a bad boy in matchmaking. <laughs> getting, getting himself muted there. I really like this system. Absolutely. It's absolutely beautiful to see. Just being able to Prime, just taking that adjustment, bringing out the A4, and just going completely aggressive, able to just grind these players down and just able to find that double opening and just absolutely make this B rush play falter. Like it did time and time again, right? Trick to be set up to just have these 11 rounds on the T side. 
Ooh, mid rush. So we now have Neo Whoa. set up passive. Certainly those footsteps are going to be heard, but what can you do in this situation? You can try to push them and sandwich around, but you do have the Noidos that can do this late response as just players are all over the map. A site being taken from CT. Lucky getting taken down. But Noidos able to rotate in. Help out Quez. Take down Jane and Neo. Leaving the double duelies against Sixer with the USB. Oh! Able to find that first head shot only will show that experience, but he only has the single flashbang to respond with. Has to gamble what side he's on. He's not able to find him in the donut. Has that info Jesus. flying to the headshot too. Nice Plenty of time. No defuse kit, but should have time on this defuse to be able to get the round for Gen 1. Oh my god, Sixer. <laughs> what a clutch at the end. Holy hell. When you see the, the double duelies, right, you think, well, surely it's over. I mean, all they have to do is kind of uh, connect both of the sprays anywhere into the body, like any number of bullets. That would have actually just uh, put him into the grave, but he survives it, he clutches it, and keeps Gen 1 in the game. Uh, the fifth round is going to be mighty mighty tasty they just have to watch out now because tricked of course did plant the bomb meaning they do have the force buy in the second being uh pretty good arguably better than the cts by themselves so gen one not out of the woods yet but at least they're starting to hear you know distant sounds of civilization they're approaching it they're getting close this is the immediate difference despite two all in a smoke Spent towards B. Gen 1 unable unable to get that B lane control early. It just delay them from trying to push into those Jaguar tunnels. And just find that presence. Just able to have full control. And you just have these T's crawling all around in it. Once again, we have Noidus with this Galil lurking towards the bottom of mid. It looks like they might go for some control that direction. But it's just playing this passive off angle towards the door. Able to catch the shoulder of Jane. As they try to flashbang peek into lane and get that man advantage. This leaves a little bit of a problematic situation now. As these players can set up to X and still two on this peak. But with this lurk from Noido, this round might as well be called done. Well, yeah, the B site certainly was done. Uh, Sixer and Neo doing their best to keep him at bay, but of course... Site does fall in the end, and the after plant positions are taken. Bomb ticking away as Prime is even checking the B lane, seeing that no one was there. Woznik was hiding in the uh, cubby this whole time. That's a free kill you get just for good timing. There you go. Congratulations. Enjoy it. Now you have to take down Quez as well. Takes the aim duel initially. Does mess it up a little bit. Gives Wozniak enough space to go for this 10 second defuse. Oh my god, surely you don't stick it. Surely not, Quez. Eventually makes it around that corner and gets the headshot. That was uh, touch and go there for a second, but tricked. Get it done in the end. That B defense, just not quite strong enough for Gen 1. Yeah, no way to really find yourself... Once you're stuck in that situation, that 10 second defuse, it shows how important those kits are. Gen 1 able to find the frags to make it competitive, despite all these little angles, just able to find that blur mid, and just all these different openings and positionings to be able to crack their way in. Just able to even things out into a 1v1, but just that situation to be unable to close it, meaning tricked have these 12 and immediate upset, meaning Gen 1 left with just these pistols, and they're immediately going for this A play, multiple smokes off, trying to block off these donuts, forcing these pistol players to push on out to take the engagement, but they run into their own smoke and a bunch of flashbangs. A little bit chaotic for them to engage, but Wazink will push on forward, able to get heavy damage for Nono and Jane to respond with two. But there's gonna be another two more to find, and he finds that first onto Iceberg, leaving him in a 1v1 with Noidos, and he's going to reset, wrapping all the way around to A long. A beautiful play to make in this sort of situation. But the question is if Noidos is prepared for the possibility they could end up wrapping around each other. Whoa. That's a quick timing, but he misses the shots. Noidos able to land the flick. Tricked to get the 13. And with that force and response from Gen 1 failing, this is Tricked certainly set up for 14. And Gen 1 possibly faltering before they can get a start on the CT side. Oh, that was heartbreaking, man. 
Jane, he does the whole flank, gets uh, like the last player completely unprepared as well. And then when it's time to hit the shots, he just goes around the corner a little bit too fast, sprays him onto the wall behind him. I mean, that's to say nothing of the uh, engagement that took place prior. I mean, it was an absolute clown fiesta there on the A side. Just you know, people running through smokes all over the place. Five sevens finding kills as they often do in close quarter situations. I, I'm I'm surprised Jane even made it uh, as close as he did. But uh, to lose it in that fashion, that is certainly not how you want to uh, go out swinging. Uh, and now Gen 1, well, they're on Nico, of course, tricked. Uh, on pace to uh, get this 14 and, of course, conclude the speed run with a uh, victory here on Ancient. Absolutely. A possibility on the cards. Have to consider everything oh, behind the USPs going out. Oh. Ah, everyone from middle trying to surprise at least like one or two players, but uh, unfortunately for them, the entire goddamn squad was here. Bomb not even getting planted before the lurkers get found as well. Well, that was the speed run to the 14th round concluded. Let's see if uh, they can get the any percent with the two rounds in a row. And with that, it's also important to speed run to be willing to top up your balance at Thunderpick. Don't forget to use promo code TBS3 for a hundred percent bonus up to five hundred fifty dollars deposited for that boosted bonus. Clicking the banner down below. As we get into what could be one of these very last rounds, trying to rush on in, just crack immediately into that B bomb site in the slurk from Prime could be essential. Catching that silencer barrel to be able to catch Sixer out early. And Iceberg just lurking in this deep smoke. No idea of any of these players to be aware of this. And it's a perfect lurk wow. as they go to this A site. And he can just walk behind. No, no. Oh! Foster going for that knife. It misses, but he can just go for the double right click. It doesn't even matter. He grabs that M4. Just insult to injury. As things just have not gotten well for Gen 1. And it nope. just falls apart even more. As there's just these two players left we're going to be desperate to save these weapons tricked understanding to hunt it but prime's at t-spawn gen one have no way to respond to it and last thing with the last m4 left that smoke likely heard giving way that he's gonna have to fight his way out of this and he can't find anything nothing left on gen one if they're left out five to fifteen only 29.50 on four of their players to work with and little hope left in this situation Good God, look at the mini-map here, guys. Like, Gen 1, entire defense here on B. As they start, like, a premature rotate onto the A site, you know, going for that retake. Uh, the flanks, there were just way too many flanks and way too many, like, wasted opportunities. No, no. I talked about him before, him and Neo just having, like, a terrible game so far. Before, they had five kills together. Now, just before the game concludes, they made that number uh, 10. You know, that, that's that's not the best. If they were a lone player on 10 kills, that would be bad. But this makes it even worse, giving up all those precious opportunities in the round previous means they just have to har hit even harder in this one. And sure enough, that does not happen. No Dio send Lucky getting the entries on to be in a solo bomb plant. Well, there's a dude on middle and the other one's on A. Oh no, there are two guys on B. Never mind. It's... Still, you're not waiting for your uh, squad to all rotate toward B site, and now you're in a two versus two. Absolutely able to upgrade to that AK for the mid pick, but Quez just way too much information on the position. And Sixer just has to fake that bomb plant. No defuse kit. And Iceberg's just staring right at him. The 4x3. Oh! Going to go for that knife and just goes for the left click. Two.